action. The power of believing is the most unexplainable phenomenon in the history of human existence. When you take whatever it is and you put it in your mind and you choose to believe, all of a sudden everything changes. I have a personal question to ask you. Do you love yourself? And if you love yourself, how do you show that you love yourself? How do you treat yourself? Do you treat yourself good? Do you eat good? Do you think good? Do you talk good? Because as a human being, I am an amalgamation of everything I think, do, and say. That's it. As a human being, I'm simply an amalgamation of everything I think, everything I do, and everything that I say. Am I saying things that are going to make me powerful? Am I thinking things that are going to make me powerful? Do I believe? When my creator tells me to be obedient, do I be obedient? Do I do what my God told me to do? Yes. When the almighty creator tells you to move your feet, do you move your feet or do you stand still? In the Bible, there was a man named Jonah. I don't know if you remember Jonah, but Jonah tried to run away from God and God sent a well after his ass, gobbled his ass up, spit him back out and said, are you going to do what I asked you to do? And so you want to manifest, but you don't want to be obedient. How dare you? How dare you? And when I ask you if you love yourself, Project Daddy's out here walking down the trail of shit, stepping in shit, huh? <laughs> Why would anyone want to walk through shit? Why would anyone come down to a bayou where there's shit to try to get some life? Because fertilizer produces life. Shit produces life. Going through the hard shit in life, it grows you. You will grow as a human person. But you ain't willing to go, but you ain't willing to go through the shit. You ain't willing to be obedient. You ain't willing to bring your ass out here to the water and listen. You ain't willing to put yourself in position to manifest. I'm gonna ask you again, do you love yourself? And if you love yourself, what do you do to show that you love yourself? These are important questions. Right now, men and women are looking for love, but they're trying to find healthy relationships. How in the world can you find a healthy relationship if you ain't healthy? How in the world can you possibly have a healthy relationship if you ain't healthy? How can you ask someone else to love you if you don't love yourself? How in the world can you ask someone to love you if you don't even love yourself? These are important questions, you hear me? <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a delusional pandemic or something. I don't want me, but I want somebody else to want me. How dare you? That's the most selfish thing in the whole entire planet. I don't love myself, but I want somebody else to love this shit. Man, grow up. Have some better thoughts. Be a better person. Be a better human being. Be of service. Stop asking somebody to love me and love somebody. Shit. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.